My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I'm back in Riften. I've been taking some Thieves Guild classes, learning how to apply my skills and how to steal. Picking pockets. Now relax and realize. Here is my next target. Looks like it's Aaron's house. So far, so good. Or maybe not. Oh, it's Aaron and Mule. I think what I'm looking for is upstairs. think there isn't any other way out of this house. You're not supposed to be here. What do you mean you can't see me? Follow Excellent. me, we're done. Let's go and turn in this stolen merchandise. There have been an increasing number of vampire attacks here in Riften. I'm not sure what's that all about. But I did get a huge benefit from one of the attacks. This necklace of the Firewalker grants 70% resistance to fire. Finally, I can now encounter fire much like a normal human. All right, bandit, come on.
was actually a close call back there. I was lucky that I wasn't discovered because I don't think I was actually invisible as I'd thought. Careless of me. I won't make that mistake again. And that, that body is quite ripe. I don't know why no one has come to clean it up yet. All right, Vex. I've completed your burglary. Well, you done or what? Hmm. You know that I am. Fine. I guess you'll need your coin then. I will. Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. Well, you can do it for me. Good day. All right, Bandit. It's time for us to head to White Run. Hmm? Let's go. I don't know who these people think they are ordering me around. only been going along with it because they can teach me things about sneaking and stealing and pickpocketing and lockpicking. But until that usefulness is over, I will go along with what they have to say. She was lying. She said she'd wait for me. Ah, but they never wait. All right, let's get inside before the sun becomes too bright. <laughs> so impressive how about we skip the conversation you're a firebrand aren't you <laughs> it's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggars guild over there you have no faith in the guild faith I don't have faith in anyone all I care about is cause and effect did the job get done, and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. As long as we're clear, I'm here for the guild, and not you. And you think that I care? Interesting. Hmm. Your response is also interesting. You really have no idea what you're dealing with, Maven. So, where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Who runs the show at Honeybrew Meadery? Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Sabiorn seems like more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabiorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Please calm down. So get rid of him and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. Why strike now? 
The Golden Glow Estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. I have a price on my head in Riften. And you think that I care? Interesting. I don't believe in getting my hands dirty. You have people that handle those sort of things. Use them. Really? You are not willing to help me? I'll remember that. And I've also taken note that your name carries weight in Riften. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. It wasn't stupid. Someone with connections like yours could easily make my problems go away. And yet, you refuse to do so. And how? Just how did you become allied with the Thieves' Guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Intern Wood. Oh, yeah. not He's half as sorry go. as you will be. Good day, Maven. Bandit, keep an eye on her. Hmm? She may be your next victim. Let's go. All right, now to White Run. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you. Shadows, I need to turn on vampire vision. There. Oh well, look who it is. Hail companion. Yes, my first vampire thrall. Still alive. You're the one cast those illusions. <laughs> Impressive. And we've got you still here, Stock. I'm gonna have Good to work to on that one day. Good to see you, too. All right, let's head to, uh, Bannered Mare. My health, it's fading. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or this is a local the fire favorite, and I'll send one someone of the first songs I, I haven't eaten in a while. Ragnar I need a new victim. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Mordor instead. All right, I think this is him back here. You there? Drink in peace. No, a man can't. You must be Malleus Machius. Or is it Malus Machius? Malus Machius. Maven said you're expecting me. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Hmm. That's right up my alley. I love using poison. So you have some? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. 
We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. <laughs> It's clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. And how do I get to the brewing vats? Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. What about just going in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. And why are you doing all this? I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. <laughs> Poor thing. There's more to this than a debt, isn't there? If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Savjorn ends up in jail, she's gonna take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Black Briar Meadery in White Run? You're looking at him. <laughs> so why bother poisoning the nest for Sabjorn? Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there, now you need to clear them out. Very well. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. Pick your pockets. Now that's the real art. No rough stuff, just take it and go. How's the cooking coming along? Don't sound like All right, fun. what time is it? <clears throat> I'm not sure I can make it to... The if it's meadery work you're looking for, at this time of day. The one to talk to. Let me sit. Yes, Mum. But then he went quiet in All right. He met the shield maiden Matilda who said... Bandit, let's go. Good evening. Oh. Evening. Huh? You've spent enough time. Wasting time waiting for the sun to go down. She was lying. She said she'd wait. All right, we're headed to Hunting Brew Meadery. All right, we made it. Everyone has their clothes on. Let's go on inside. Disgusting. Might as well take the tails. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Oh, oh you certainly do. Is something wrong? 
Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. No, I'm not kidding you. I might, however, be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Hmm. Well, you'd better pay me, or I'll yell, Skeever. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. And how do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have oh, my good lazy, for you. good for nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You're such a pompous fool, but you've got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. You mentioned someone named Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. I'm sure. Who do you think caused the infestation? I understand. No rough stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm on my way now then. I've got to clean up this mess. Yes, please. Don't expect me to do it. All right, bandit. Come on. Got enough traps. Look. I hope you're going to kill it, not me. I'll just take these tails for my poison concoction. All right, it sees you. <laughs> and you didn't even lift a finger. Come on, there's more where they came from. into the city of free man ah, lying little harlot that brat ain't mine it could be anyone's won't get one rusty septum should be in front. I known she was lying. She said she'd wait for me. Ah, but they never wait. Spiders. Bandit. There. Kill it. Bandit. What was that? There you go. We're immune to its poison. But the 
there's still no reason to let it abuse you like that. Gonna start keeping a knife and boot. Tired of getting disarmed. with the singing. Careful, I sense something up here. And he's got fire. so thirsty. Ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile. The children threw rocks, the women spat upon me as menfolk dragged me into Whiterun's prison. They branded me a danger to their pitiful existence used words like madman and insane. Could a madman escape the prisons undetected? Could a lunatic establish a laboratory right under their noses? Could a psychopath create a mighty army from the common skeever? My days as an apprentice alchemist in white in Winterhold were no better. Those egotistical braggarts couldn't compete with my abilities. Where they fell short, I'd constantly excel. Did they appreciate my genius? Did they relish my contributions? No. My instructors beat me and said that I was irresponsible, and the Archmage cast me into the streets like a common beggar. As my enemy grows, complacent and weak, as they forget Hamelin and his utter brilliance, I build my army. I use every bit of knowledge at my disposal to forge their demise. Thanks to Sabjorn's unwitting assistance, my legion grows stronger every day. The irony 
that the same ingredients used to make his vile drink could be used to feed my offspring isn't lost upon me. Oh, they will pay. Their ignorance of impending annihilation amuses me. I will bury White Run and watch Winter Hole burn, and when they experience the fury I've unleashed upon them, when my progeny are gnawing their flesh from their bones, they will come begging and groveling at my feet. But there will be no mercy, no quarter, and no leniency. And I will laugh, and I will dance, and I will rejoice over their mangled, broken corpses. The time for recompense has arrived. Ten years of pain, ten years of misery, ten years of death. Well, I must say that known she was mine. he certainly had she an axe to grind. All right, uh, good work. Bandit killing him single-handedly like that. Let's see, what does this skill book teach me? Sneaking. Very well. I will apply this technique. All right, here we need to poison the nest. Done. Yes. I think we're done here. Let's go. Ah, lying to the product. That brat ain't mine. It could be anyone's. Bandit, One calm person. down. You're always ranting about that brat and whatnot. Just calm <laughs> ah, down. Tell you. All right, here we are in the boilery, and I believe I need to poison the wine. What else is in here? Bandit, is there anything else? Do something about my appearance. Well, looks like we're just in time. This must be the captain of the guard. Ah, oh, malice. Good of you to join us and Sabjorn. Was something we discussed unclear? Hm. The job is finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. And what about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. Uh, will I? I suppose you can wait around if you must. Very well. 
Don't sound like much fun, though. Well, Sebjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it easy to your palate. Bandit. Come now. This is me, not some wine to be sipped. Bandit. By the eight. What? What's in this? I. I don't know. What's wrong? Just need. You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. <coughs> I beg you, please. Do this is not what it seems. Stinking tail. I would die to give myself up. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. You see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons? <laughs> no. Prisons? Move. Now that's allowed. I assure you, this is all insane. just a huge misunderstanding. Inter I said, move. Gold. Yeah, farewell. Just an own. orcish sword, really. Doesn't seem to be a uh, standard for a guard. All right. So, Malice. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I need to get a look at Sabjorn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. By the way, you never mentioned that lunatic living in the tunnels. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. <laughs> Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Hmm, please, he was easy prey for the bandit. And what are you going to do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Very well. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. <laughs> Whatever. All right, bandit, let's go. With three beers down, the orc did I think we need to get upstairs somehow. Goodbye, for none could know was not for show, and someone had to die. Hey. Into the city of free. Oh, here we are, a promissory sorry note. Sabjorn, within the enclosed crate, you'll find the final payment, as we discussed. Haunting Brew Meadery should now begin brewing mead at full production. In regards to our concerns about interference from Maven Blackbriar, I can assure you that I'll do everything in my power to keep her assets and her cronies at bay. This is the beginning of a long and successful future for both of us. out of my boot. Oh, look at this. A 
decanter. Kill him. He talks to me like that again. Get him while he's sleeping. I'll poison his meat. See how he likes that. Looks like another skill book. Hmm, alchemy. I'll put that to good use. All right, Bandit, I think we're done here. Still nightfall. Wait, what's this? Warn Sabjorn to cancel the tasting? No. That was not an option. Alright, so it's back to Riften then. Sabjorn should already be in jail. What can I do for you? Nothing for me. All right, here we are. Riften. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Maven. I trust you have good news for me. Well, this is not what happened, but this is what I'm going to tell her. Looks like Sabjorn canceled the tasting, and he cut off Malice, too. Oops. You're a firebrand, aren't you? Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. I did my job. Correctly, too. No gray area. The only thing keeping me from having you killed is Brynjol. He stepped in and made amends. At least you remember to bring me the information I requested. Give me that. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. I've seen that symbol. Before. Well... Whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Hmm, an iron dagger of force. I believe we're done. Yes, we are. For now. All right, Bandit. It's time for us to go back and speak with the Thieves' Guild. All right, Brynjolf. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yes, very fortunate. Well, yet very fortunate for Maven, even though the accounting of what happened is a little bit unclear. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. 
I say we really don't need Maven, but all right, I get it. What's next? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. <laughs> you really believe that I care how these other people feel? You're all mortals to me. I'll rip your throats out when the time comes. Let's go. Oh, no.